hello guys welcome once again and in today's video we are going to learn a new topic and that is about graphs in c sharp so this is kind of a difficult topic that people think it to be but it is not difficult at all and i am going to show you how to create a graph in c sharp in some easy steps that you are not gonna forget and uh, you will learn a lot just you need to pay a little bit attention first of all you need to go to the toolbox and scroll all the way down here and in here in the data you need to open it up and in here you need to select this chart option and you need to drag it out here when you will drag it out you will see something like this it is a kind of graph and you can make changes into that like in the properties of this graph or this chart so you can simply change the back color of this graph like I like transparent so this color is transparent you know okay so simply you can change whatever you want so let's say if I do black you will see it will appear like here so you can do that according to your uh, choice so I will keep it transparent and the next thing that you need to know that this is a series basically uh, series here series 1 this is the default name but you can change it for example I am going to create a graph between the marks of the student and the name of the students so the name of the students in my case will be on x-axis and the marks of the students will be on y-axis so I will be how I will be able to do that I am going to show you in a while so you need to scroll down and you need to search for series and when you search that make sure you click this thing and you will appear with something like this so you need to change the name of this series one so for that purpose you will search for the name property and when you will find it this series one you can change it and I will change it to the marks okay so right now I'm not going to hit ok because I have to show you some else properties so this is basically the gradient thing and you can also add a back image to your uh, you know graph and in here if I want to add a back image I just need to click here and it will open up this dialog box and I can add any kind of image that I want to within the premises of my computer so but I will not add image right now but I am telling you you can add it okay and you can also make that back image transparent if you want to and uh, you can change the border color whatever you want so you can design that the way you want okay so for example I'll, I want this so you can see that the color of border will appear dark so okay I'll keep it that way so you can also change the style I my style is solid so if I do dash dot you can see the border border is now dash dot so these are the simple and basic things you will come to know when you will get to this and the next thing and the last thing that I need to show you that you can change the bars the style of your uh, you know graph whatever kind of graph you like okay like to have you have you want a line graph you can have it you want a spline graph you can have it also you want this kind of graph you can have it but I would like to keep it that column graph because I need that one so now I think we are pretty much done here and I will press OK and uh, in order to load my own chart I will be needing a button here so I will create a button and uh, I will name it as uh, that load my chart or something like that so this is the button 9 and in here in properties I will select it and I will go to the properties and I will change the name of my button as load chart or load graph or create graph 
ओके क्रिएट ग्राफ सो क्रिएट ग्राफ एंड नाउ व्हाट आई नीड टू डू आई विल जस्ट रीसाइज इट ओके सो आई नीड टू कॉपी द नेम ऑफ दिस चार्ट एंड दिस इज बेसिकली चार्ट वन सो आई विल कॉपी दैट and i'll go to the button and i will double click it and when i will double click it i will go to the event of this button and in here i need to write some code so first of all i will write this to specify this dot uh i'll paste the chart name chart1 and dot i will write series yes here it is series and i will put braces and columns and inside these columns i need to write the name of my series and that is basically if i open up if i open it up my series yes here if i open it you can see the name of my series is marks so i will write here marks m a r k s okay marks and then i need to write here dot points dot add sorry dot add x y because i am creating my graph along x and y axis add x y and then i need to put values so first value that i will put will be for x axis and the next value that i will put will be for y axis so let's say i put a name here whatever i like so i will put here james and i put here on the y axis the marks of james so i will put 60 he, for example if he got 60 out of 100 so simple is that so what i need to do i'll just copy paste to have more names and more marks so i'll just change the marks to 70 and uh, then i will change it to 1 to 50 and 1 to let's say 40 and also i will change the name so let's say kevin got 40 marks ben got 50 marks and uh, john got 70 marks so that's it we are pretty much done here whenever the user will click the button this code will get executed and it will create a graph something for this so let's go ahead and now run our program so when we will run our program we'll have something like this on our screen so it will take a little bit of time to run and to execute this program so this kind of login window will appear <coughs> on my screen so i will put my credentials in and i will press the login button and when i will press the login button it will testify if uh, the values put are correct or not and it will tell me that login successful so it is taking a while yes login successful and the window appears right here so when i will click here create graph you can see that the graph has been created so you can see that james got 60 marks kevin got 40 ben got 50 and john got 70 marks and there it is the graph has been created successfully but uh, what if i want them to be like uh, i want james to also show his age 
on the same graph so I can do that there is no problem there should be no problem with that so I will be easily doing that by just uh, first I will stop my program and then I will go to the code of the button and I will just be needing to copy paste the same line but this time what I will do I will just change this name of the series as uh, age that I do not have yet but I will create I will go to the series I will go to the collection and I will add a series this is series 2 so let's say I change the name of the series 2 as age and all the rest of the things you know very well I have told you earlier so when I will hit OK you will see the other line or other uh, thing or other bar is appearing right here so it, it will adjust the color automatically and you can also change the color if you want to from the properties so I'll go to the graph here and to the button to the code here and I will write here age and simply I will just uh, change the age of James and the age of this student is let's say 21 and the same thing I'm going to do with this just copy paste and I am going to change the age let's say he is 17 years old and the series name is age so I will do the same with this thing I will copy paste I will change the age of Ben let's say he is 25 and I will change the age the series here name of the series and that is basically age and now I will copy paste the same thing same thing pasted the age of the student is changed to let's say 40 this student is uh, 40 years old anyway I'm just taking it as an example so now you think uh, you can see that we are pretty much done here with our code so when I will run my program yes then you will see that uh, my data will be appearing when I will click my load graph button so I hit enter login and login successful and you will see that it is asking me to create a graph and to click on the button and when I will click that you will see that uh, James is 20 years old Kevin is 17 years old according to this graph Ben is 25 years old according to this graph and John is 40 years old so this was pretty much simple I hope you have enjoyed today's video and you have learned something new and please rate comment subscribe and in the next video I'll be telling you how can you connect your graph with your database and how can you go further thank you so much for watching